All right, let's try out Brave Browser. I've heard good things. I wish Safari would let me default to Brave Search on iPad, but I have not tried actually switching browsers for a very long time. It never goes well because I have so many extensions and everything else installed. <sighs> Blocks trackers, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. What the hell is this? Scroll. Why do I need to scroll? Why is why is the page blank? Why, why would I scroll? I hate modern technology. Okay, sure. Brave news. What, what, just put it there. Remember when everything was about heads up displays that just showed you things? Instead of slightly hinting that it would show you things? What is... Oh, God. Oh, it's installing all the extensions. Okay, clearly it's compatible with all my junk from Chrome because it's just installing them. Fascinating. Don't even use half of these anymore. But that's fine. It's not Brave's fault. All right, these are just random. I guess I'm supposed to filter that at some point. Uh, rewards? Earn tokens by viewing brave private ads and support content creators automatically. Okay, you say that. Here, we gotta look this up now. Brave rewards. How do creators get paid? We'll use Brave's own search. Because sure, as a concept, that sounds great. But I'm a content creator. I haven't been notified that I'm getting paid for someone else watching ads in place of my own ads. Okay, got it. Yeah, but that's not how it works. Bat tokens can be used... Oh, what the... No, no, no. What? What is this glitch? Is it expecting the bar to be over here? That's weird. Anyway. Bat tokens... <laughs> Conjunction with Brave Rewards to support your favorite publishers and creators... You can also redeem it for junk. Okay. Transfer bat tokens through a wallet. Oh, it's crypto. Okay, so the, now there's a tip. Uh, okay. So it adds tip buttons in places. So, like, is that on my YouTube channel? Is that on my blog? I don't see a tip. Although this isn't... Like, we can click on a video. Still don't see a tip button. I mean, there's a similar thing up here. Okay, we can just say yes. Okay, here we go. Brave private ads reward you with tokens to support content creators. Okay, they'll appear as normal notification. And you can... The ads will appear as a notification? That's a little odd, but okay. Continue. Your earned tokens from Brave private ads throughout the current month will arrive on the 5th of the next month. Sure. Creators receive your token contributions automatically based on attention. Yikes. Tipping is away. Okay. How do the creators get tipped? You can't just say you're giving these to creators without all of the creators being on board. Why would I not want to give all of mine to the content creator? Why Why would I have to select that? Just give it to... Eh. There's red flags here. YouTube.com. Unverified creator. Creator has not signed up yet. It will retry automatically for 90 days. That's a little... You're not going to notify them. You're not going to... Because you just want to keep it. Like, realistically, I know how that works. Like, I realize this is crypto. I shouldn't be looking into it that much. But... Creators must verify... Okay. How do I do that? I'm a creator. Like... Make this obvious. All right. Brave Rewards Creators. Sure. You can do YouTube, Twitch, or your own publication or your own website. Sure. I'll just use a generic email. Fine. Welcome to the party. That was easy. All right. We got to go to our email. I'll fast forward this part. Okay. I guess this is one of those ads. Yeah, I actually don't like that at all. That's basically adware. I spent a very long time cleaning this off of every single computer. 
in the Windows XP in seven days. Uh, no? Is this username? Yeah, no. So yeah, I'm going to end up turning this off. I would rather see ads on the website. And I'm sure there's some... Some policy violation that means that you can't swap out ads for your own. But that's going to be a no for me, dog. I don't want more ads on my system. I'd rather just have the ads that are there that support people. Like, I don't want trackers. This ain't cool. All right, well, I'm signed up as a creator. I can add a channel. Website, Vimeo, YouTube channel, Twitch channel, Reddit. Vimeo's cool that they actually bother to integrate. Let's do YouTube. I wonder if I can add multiple or if it's going to be like, no, you can't do that. Okay. Allow. Wow, people have actually given me bat. That's fascinating, honestly. All right, we'll do Twitch. Someone has given me 37.92 of their tokens for my YouTube channel, which translates to 37.92 translate to about $8. That's actually more than I thought you were going to say. Yeah. Like actually significantly more That's than more I than I've gotten through say. super things. On this channel. Wild. Yeah. So that's something. I don't know if it would even be realistic to actually pull it out, but it's something. Fascinating. Yeah, is, it, is it one of those cryptos that's like trapped in its own fucking circulation and means nothing? I mean, they have a linked thing for you to connect to Gemini and Uphold, which I've never heard of, to like sell it. But, you know, that went real well for library or, you know, LBRY. So I just, the sticking point for me is all this stuff about Web 3.0, whatever. Why... Would I want push notifications of advertisements like this is Windows 7 and I'm getting fake malware, you know, like McAfee updates or something, instead of just the ads on the website that actually directly goes to the creator? Well, not directly, but you know, like... Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can't comprehend it. Like, I would genuinely rather just see the ads on the website than have push notifications of ads for more crypto stuff because that's all the people that are advertising on this platform and the way it's formatted it's not clear that it's an advertisement so like i got one within like the first five minutes of enabling the rewards thing and i couldn't tell if it was just telling me to sign up for some other crypto thing or if it was that like if that was the ad and i'm sure there's some sort of like i'm sure adsense and everything has like policies where you can't as a browser like swap out ads for your own or something like i'm sure they've written that off but this is not a more desirable solution just tip people or just let the normal ads go like block trackers but at that point just have the ads what do you yeah. mean it's better ads i there's no such thing as better ads what are you talking about that'll be everyone's top youtube sponsor at next holiday season I'm just thinking like better help or something. It's better ads. This video brought to you by better ads. Established titles. Oh my God. <laughs> you that too can be a lord or lady of the web 3.0. Yeah. You can, you can buy one square foot on my website and become a lord or lady of web 3.0. Yeah. I will give you <laughs> 10 by 10 pixels on my website. <laughs> That's how they do those like r slash place banners, right? You just buy out the land. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I've gotten all of my websites and my actual website. I couldn't verify because they want access to a folder that I can't upload for now. But otherwise, all my profiles are added. I'm still just going to turn it off because getting crypto ads in my notifications is the kind of thing I want to avoid. And so if you're considering tipping me through this, like I appreciate the surprising $8 that I've gotten through here. That I'll never be able to transfer out. Thanks, I guess. But but I'd rather you just tip with currency I can spend in, in ways that contribute to the sustainability of my business, I guess. I like the idea. It's just looping it through crypto just immediately breaks a lot. And again, involuntary ads versus ads I expect on the platforms they were for, I guess, is what bugs me. So I'm going to turn those off. We're we just not going to do that. Let's look at the rest of the browser. What else we got? We got some other stuff. We got extensions up here. 
because this is still just Chromium base. So like I could put my B and H affiliate generator, Beyond Twenty, Color Picker. What else do I want? Screenshotter, affiliate link, LastPass. I guess you know we want we want the basics pinned way back. Yep. All right, that's good. We got a little sidebar with the reading list. And a button that takes us to Brave Talk. Unlimited private video calls with your friends and colleagues, up to four people for free. And you can directly loop in with Google Calendar. I actually like this. I don't know anything about their service. If you can trust the encryption or whatever, start free call. I would love if they... Yeah, that's until I close the site. I like that permission tier. I don't know if that's new to Chromium or if I've just never noticed it before. Allow. You can enter name. Epos Vox. Join meeting. I can share screen sharing. Both monitors. Windows. Specific tabs. Tab audio. This looks like it's using the same framework that Discord uses. We got chat. We got, we can do polls. I guess for business meetings, that's not bad. We've got performance settings for video quality. Rad. You can raise the lower hand for guests. You can view participants. Tile view. Security options. You can have a lobby so people have to join. Passcode. Nice. You can live stream. Direct to a stream key. That's a cool inclusion. Ooh, that makes it like uh, StreamYard and stuff, just kind of built into your to your web browser. I'm not mad at that. Got your normal, yeah. Okay, what else we got over here? We have Brave Wallet. Yep, we're not gonna do that. We got bookmarks and reading list. Okay, what else we got? Otherwise, it's a browser. I don't know what's up with this big. Like, why is the URL bar centered? Like, visually, it's okay, but it throws me off because I'm used to clicking here, and I feel like if you're going to move things around, there has to be a purpose. There's nothing here. This isn't benefiting me. What is this? Does it not? Okay, it just shows the trackers and stuff. I'm fine with that. I'd love if I could filter just trackers and not necessarily ads. we got frequently used websites. We can add sites, show favorites. Okay, you can hide those if you don't like that. You got the news. Customize. Here we go. All right, we got background images. That. Oh, that's a collection. I was like, that's not the picture I clicked on at all. Okay, show sponsored. No. That's the thing. Most of these alternate tools in the modern web, which is why I'm going back to independent web focused things. Most of these tools are built by for-profit companies. And so ultimately they want their, they want a way to just show you their ads instead of, you know, in place of everyone else's. And so that's the problem with so much of this stuff. All right. Top sites frequently visited or just favorites. I dig that brave news. Okay. You can put in your own feeds. I love that. You can choose your own categories. I love that. I would love if it was full screen and hide all this shit, but Customize the clock. You can add in cards. Ooh, okay. So there's Brave Talk. We had that in there. Oh, it's all crypto stocks. Why? Give me features. Give me real features that aren't just being a part of the... the... Uh, all right, you got... Copy link, copy clean link. That's cool. Cuts out all the extra crap from like Google searches and stuff. Save page. What is this? Brave wallet. Oh, so it's just forced a button. Oh, I can hide it. I take it back. Side panel. I can hide. Oh, I can hide most of these icons. I do like that. Brave rewards is still here. That's fine. Sync. You can easily create profiles or open a guest window. So otherwise, yeah, it's mostly just Chromium. All right. I, I, I want to try using alternate searches like Brave. Uh, there was startpage.com that people were recommending, which would be cool to set as the default new tab page in your browser. 
unfortunately, like a bunch of the stuff I was looking for specifically are for my iPad, which I use like a laptop. And you can't do this in Safari because what I use in Safari is a feature which I'm hoping is here. Yes, pin tabs. So in Safari on iPad, you can pin tabs. And that is crucial for me to reduce my app bloat because I don't need an app for Mastodon or for Outlook or whatever because those apps are usually terrible. The web UI is fine. And if I can just pin them so they're easy to get to and I can just keep Safari loaded up, then pinning tabs is fine. So this has that. So that's handy. Tab groups, all the usual stuff from Chromium. But yeah, startpage.com is supposed to pull the same kind of results from Google, like straight just Google results without tracking stuff. You can hide promotional messaging. Okay, so you can hide the advertisements, which is cool. Without the tracking stuff. And then there's Ecosia, uh, which is what my wife has used for years. But I don't like, again, all the extra ads. I'd rather just get the ads actually targeted at me. I know that's not the popular way to go, but like if I'm going to have advertising and stuff like that forced into me, I might as well have it be relevant because I've at least bought stuff like that. But they do make donations to supposedly planting trees and all that. I haven't vetted them super much, but you know, supposedly they do a lot of cool charity stuff, which is rad. Like I love that so much. So yeah, I'm just, I'm exploring these new tools. I know this is a weird ass video for me to post and it, I'm also posting it at 4k 120 just as a test in case in five years they implement 120 FPS. I want to see if this copy gets it, but like, I know this is a weird post, but I'm doing a lot of exploration of like old web stuff. Uh, I think you might have seen my new landing page. Instead of using bio.link or Linktree, because Linktree has a ton of issues. A lot of these tools have a ton of issues where they block uh, certain websites. They block NFTs. If you want NFTs, they block in a, uh, not safe for work formats, all of that kind of stuff. Instead of relying on a third-party service to host my identity, because the point is for you to have more control over it, I'm using my own. Although I have no clue why it didn't load just now. I think my SSL is text expired. I'm, I'm doing something jank. This would not be your traditional experience. But if I do, I'm hosting it with NeoCities, which is fun. NeoCities is like a modern reimagining. Is Brave just blocking it? I literally just pulled this up on my other computer and it was fine. What is going on here? Maybe it is Brave, even though I don't have trackers on my site. Oh, here we go. Learned it the first time. I don't know what's happening. But I'm using NeoCities, which is like a modern revival. It's all free and open source of GeoCities, which is the old website host. And so I have a cringy Y2K setup, but it's my it's my landing page. Instead of, because I had bio.link slash epostvox. And like I could set up my URL to redirect to that and whatever, but I don't own this. I can't control every little icon. I, you know, I can request features, but I can't control this. If they disappear or get bought out or whatever, I have no say in what happens to my page. And I don't like all the limitations. And so I feel like if you're going to have your own landing page that tells you, tells everyone where you are, you should own that as well. And so I'm just doing a classic cringy Y2K theme, perfectly on brand. That has all of my links where you can find me everywhere and I can keep updating and I can add in my own buttons and integrations and I don't need a verification check mark because it's my own domain. That kind of thing. Like I'm doing all sorts of exploring of this stuff and I want to teach it more. I think 2023 is going to be the year of me focusing on teaching about controlling your online experiences, but also like focusing on real tech literacy, which is something that's always been a mission of mine. But now that I've gotten some clarity about how I think I should do that versus just teaching you tutorials, we're going to focus more on those aspects. So hopefully by watching me explore a browser, for example, you got to think about the stuff you should be skeptical of, the, the red flags to look out for. Uh, this was kind of surface level, but it's a start, you know, it's, it's the start of that kind of thing so that you can then make some of those decisions for yourself. Or maybe you thought this was stupid as hell, which is fine. Join us on Discord, discord.gg slash Remember to be kind. Rewind.